tonight, we begin an eight-week journey to discover the best among the best at 205 pounds and under. 16 challengers representing SmackDown, NXT, and TNA Wrestling take center stage in the hallowed halls of Hammerstein Ballroom in Manhattan, New York. Four rounds of high octane, high risk, and high reward action. Who will stand above the rest? It's time to find out that answer as WWE and Noah Nation Gaming channel membership proudly welcome you to the 2024 Cruiserweight Classic. It is opening day as for the next eight weeks, we will emanate right here in Hammerstein Ballroom, live from Manhattan, New York. We welcome you to the 2024 edition of the Cruiserweight Classic. And as revealed this past Wednesday, the 16 participants that will compete in this tournament over the next several weeks. Superstars from SmackDown, NXT, and even representation from TNA Wrestling. It is gonna be one wild tournament and it all kicks off this afternoon. Coming up in just a bit in Hammerstein Ballroom, SmackDown's ever explosive, Nathan Frazier never slows down as he takes on TNA Wrestling's former X Division champion, Zachary Wentz. And kicking us off in moments. Also, in first round action, the Latino World Order's Cruz Del Toro is going to have his hands full with one of NXT's breakout stars, Dragon Lee. The Cruiserweight Classic is upon us, and it kicks off up next. We welcome you inside Hammerstein Ballroom, and it is time for the first round of the Cruiserweight Classic Tournament to commence. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Cala, Jalisco, Mexico, weighing in at 165 pounds. Well, Dragon Lee has taken NXT by storm for the last year, and a lot of the audience got exposed to Dragon Lee this past Wednesday on Velocity, going one-on-one -on -one with fellow NXT representation in Noam Dar. Noam Dar will have the Bruiserweight Pete done in just a few weeks in the first round of the Cruiserweight Classic, but tonight it is Dragon Lee kicking things off. And how apropos that he goes one-on-one -on -one with the Latino World Order's Cruz Del Toro, as you are looking at a man that has been dubbed the future of Lucha Libre by one of the greatest to ever do it, Rey Mysterio. Rey Mysterio competed in last year's Cruiserweight Classic Tournament. He was unsuccessful. Maybe Dragon Lee is going to have a different result. Cruz Del Toro predominantly in tag team action over on Friday Night SmackDown, but don't discount a man who broke out in the WWE in the midst of the Cruiserweight Classic Tournament back in 2016. This should be one hell of a matchup to kick things off. Two Lucha Libre stars open up the first round live from Manhattan, New York. Cruz Del Toro walking down the aisle here in Midtown as of course the Latino World Order approaches a WWE Tag Team title matchup live this coming Thursday at the season premiere of SmackDown. Rey Mysterio and a partner of his choosing could be Cruz Del Toro or might even be Joaquin Wild will take on Angel Inberto for the Tag Team titles. All remains to be seen what's gonna happen Thursday night in just a short trip over in Brooklyn but this Sunday afternoon, we are here in Midtown Manhattan, and it is time for the opening matchup in the first round of the 2024 edition of the illustrious Cruiserweight Classic Tournament. Bell has sound that we are underway. Cruz Del Toro and Dragon Lee open up this year's tournament. So much riding on the line over the next eight weeks. 
Of course, the big strong boy, Tyler Bate, participating in this tournament, has promised to defend his championship through each and any round he participates in, really opening up an opportunity to any, anybody who is lucky enough to stand across the ring from the champion. As for Cruz Del Toro, hot out of the gate against Dragon Lee thus far in this matchup. Del Toro looking for a singles breakout performance. Out of the ring goes Dragon Lee and Del Toro going skyward here in Midtown. Well, just because Del Toro is predominantly a tag team star on Friday Night SmackDown with Joaquin Wild does not mean you should be discounting his efforts. An extraordinary talent who, as we mentioned, is looking for his breakout performance here in the CWC. Off the springboard, nice kick, taking Dragon Lee off his feet once more. Dragon Lee has got no answer for Del Toro in the early moments. Joaquin Wilde, of course, will also be competing in the CWC. On the other side of the bracket, he approaches a matchup with TNA Wrestling's Frankie Kazarian in just a few weeks' time. As for Dragon Lee, as we mentioned, somebody who has taken NXT by storm during the last 12 months or so. Former North American champion, Exposed himself to an even broader audience this past Wednesday on Velocity with a explosive matchup against Noam Dar and of course a victory for Dragon Lee on that night. Some last minute momentum as Dragon Lee approached this contest with Cruz Del Toro this Sunday afternoon. Those shooting star presses benefiting both superstars thus far. All remains to be seen who is going to benefit as we get in the later rounds of this first round matchup. Both these superstars, of course, love to take things to the air, but that is to be expected. When wanting to advance in this style tournament, it's really going to be what else you can bring to the table. Dragon Lee and Cruz Del Toro expecting each other to leave the soles of their boots, but what do they have in their arsenal to throw the opposer off their game? All remains to be seen is Dragon Lee looking to stack the offense this time. Cruz Del Toro... Off a reversal and taking out one of Dragon Lee's knees. If a man can't walk, he certainly ain't going to be flying from coast to coast. Del Toro wiping out the mass superstar. Dragon Lee, a man who has traveled this globe, won championships all around it. Now looking for his opportunity in the Cruiserweight Classic, but Cruz Del Toro just may be his kryptonite. We saw what this tournament has done in the past for its winners. Just 12 months ago, it was the man Dragon Ilya Dragunov who capped off the 2023 Cruiserweight Classic as the victor. Ilya Dragunov has become one of the top stars on Friday Night SmackDown because of it. That is what these 16 superstars are looking to achieve over the next eight weeks. Del Toro off the head scissors takedown. Dragon Lee is on spaghetti legs. Corkscrew, what an arm drag by Del Toro. Cruz has been in this tournament before, participated in the inaugural one back in the summer of 2016 and is looking for an even greater performance several years later. Dragon Lee having a problem catching Del Toro as he is flying all around this ring. And pop up Tornado DDT. That could be all she wrote, not just yet. I'll tell you what, Cruz Del Toro looking to turn some naysayers into believers on this Sunday afternoon in the opening round of the CWC. Who's to say Del Toro can't have a singles performance that wows the WWE Universe, but neither Dragon Lee is not looking to be a stepping stone for Del Toro. Awesome Spanish fly and follows it up with a suplex. You saw Dragon Lee there, just saw an opportunity, and he took it. Anything to get back in this matchup, even if it mean putting his own body in harm's way. As we saw last year in the CWC, putting your body in the line of fire is sometimes what you got to do. Dragon Lee willing to leave no stone unturned in route to a hopeful victory tonight. Other side step by Cruz Del Toro. Del Toro has clearly done his homework on one of NXT's standout superstars in Dragon Lee. Dragon Lee, along with Noam Dar, Javon Evans, some of the NXT participation in the Cruiserweight Classic this year. 
And hell, he might have came up short, but you look at a guy like Nathan Frazier, who'll be participating later this afternoon, also was representing NXT last year in the Cruiserweight Classic. Such a great performance, he inevitably signed with SmackDown. Dragon Lee in the corner. Operation Dragon seems to be on the mind. Into the cover. Del Toro still alive. Dragon Lee thought he had it. And then there's a loud ring throughout the Hammerstein Ballroom as these lovely fans are enjoying this cruiserweight action. Dragon Lee realized that he was really falling short on the scoreboard, if you will. A sense of urgency went for the kill and obviously did some damage, but no three count was to be had just yet. But this is what Dragon Lee is going to benefit off that maneuver. He's got Del Toro literally up against the ropes. Or maybe we spoke too soon. Dragon Lee gets his knee taken out from under him again. That's also the same knee that Del Toro chop blocked a few minutes ago. Has it been a primary objective for Cruz throughout this matchup? But maybe it should start being one. Trying to go low on Dragon Lee. May take him out. He may not need it. Just cradled him up. Smashed him on the canvas. Dragon Lee gets the shoulder up again. Cruz Del Toro, no matter the result, is showing up and showing out on this Sunday afternoon opening week edition of the CWC. Once again, Dragon Lee was tied up. Del Toro focused on the knee that time. And now he's got Lee heading to the outside. Cruz Del Toro looked for a moment as if he was starting to slow down, but I think he's putting the pedal to the metal. Tilt to whirl, corkscrew over the top. Cruz Del Toro did not make the trip to Midtown Manhattan to be a stepping stone in Dragon Lee's legacy. Springboard, frog splash by Cruz. That's got to do it. Dragon Lee is wiped out. Not just yet. A sense of urgency, but a kick out nonetheless. Man, you got to give it up to Del Toro. Emptying his hat of tricks tonight. But somehow, Dragon Lee continues to survive. But you see fatigue really starting to set in. Just collapsing off that collision with the turnbuckles. Nonetheless, Del Toro has got to do exactly what he seems to be doing. And that's keeping his foot on the gas pedal. Giving Dragon Lee any room for R&R. &R. May come back to bite the LWOs. Cruz Del Toro, he's not looking to allow it. We're heading to the top. Superplex and it lands flush. Midtown Manhattan on their feet as now Del Toro scales the ropes once more. Wheels are a spinning. Dragon Lee dead center of the ring and his soul just got crushed. And still Lee perseveres. Man, Dragon Lee, you might need a shovel to get him off the canvas, but somehow find it a way to continue to fight in this matchup. Trying to rev up the engines. Del Toro when I got caught. Gets the rug sweeped out from underneath of him. And another shooting star by Lee. Anything to try to get a pinfall. But Cruz Del Toro gets the shoulder up. And I think Dragon Lee's got to realize that he has not dished out as much offense as Del Toro has. Dragon Lee relying on what works in this matchup. I believe that was his third or fourth shooting star, what we just saw moments ago. Dragon Lee just trying to stack the offense the best he can, but Cruz Del Toro has got a will like no other tonight. Nice Frankensteiner takedown. Dragon Lee trying to play catch up here. Hooks the leg. Auto went for the bridge, but Alex against it. Now it's Del Toro up against the ropes. Dragon Lee has got a fight. Oh man, what has he got in mind here? 
Meet and cruise on the hardest part of the ring. Del Toro getting dropped on his crown. Dragon Lee starting to feel it. Getting his mojo back by any means necessary. Del Toro getting sent for a loop and now sent back inside the ring. Dragon Lee has got an opportunity, but he's got to capitalize on a down LWO member. Not going for the pinfall just yet. Just trying to stack this offense as we previously mentioned. The mass superstar heading to the top. Another tilt the world head scissors takedown. Dragon Lee throwing in something pretty here and there, but is really relying on the effective maneuvers, the punches, the kicks, the strikes. Del Toro had it scouted that time. Oh, wait a minute, who's, who's got the events here? Cruz Del Toro, Frankensteiner. Might have picked that up from Rey Mysterio. Dragon Lee into the cover. Lee caught him. Dragon Lee caught him. Dragon Lee advancing in the CWC. Here is your winner. Dragon Lee. Incredible performance by the LWO's Cruz Del Toro. Looking for a Frankensteiner. Might have picked that up from Rey Mysterio and the West Coast Poppy instituted for years, but Dragon Lee able to reverse the pressure into a pinfall and ended up catching Cruz Del Toro with his shoulders on the canvas. Dragon Lee, resilient as all hell in the first round of the Cruiserweight Classic as we see our first elimination and our first update to the bracket. We now look forward. Who will meet Dragon Lee in the next round? Will it be Frazier? Will it be Wentz? We find out in moments. Can't get enough universe mode? Well, now is your chance to secure a backstage pass to more universe than ever before. Become a No Nation Gaming Channel member and gain entry into monthly house shows that directly affect your episodic viewing of universe mode. Also, take a peek behind the curtain with behind the scenes updates, exclusive content to see how universe mode is brought to life each and every week. Hit the join button down below, become a Backstage Pass channel member, and get your front row seat to more universe than ever before. A great time to become a No Nation Gaming channel member. Coming up on Saturday night, October the 12th, as well as Saturday night, October 26th, the exclusive Halloween Havoc live events. And just added for No Nation Gaming channel members, pay-per-view kickoff events kicking off with Bad Blood on Saturday night, October the 19th. Exclusive contest and in-depth previews of Bad Blood. Hit the join button down below. Become a No Nation Gaming channel member. But we remain here in Midtown Manhattan. What an extraordinary contest to kick things off moments ago between Dragon Lee and Cruz Del Toro. But what about what's coming up next Sunday afternoon? Right back here in the Hammerstein Ballroom, SmackDown's Akira Tozawa set to go one-on-one -on -one with another NXT representative, Javon Evans, who has broken out on the scene in NXT, looks to do so in the CWC. And then two SmackDown superstars set to collide next Sunday as Wesley squares off with Axiom. Both of these first round matches going down live at 12 noon Eastern next Sunday afternoon right here in Manhattan, New York. After no mercy is shown and a queen is crowned, the bad blood will boil over. Coming your way live on Saturday night, October 19th, from the TD Garden in Boston, Massachusetts. Witness the unforgiving, high octane, and high stakes action as Raw, SmackDown, and No Nation Gaming channel memberships proudly present WWE Bad Blood.
Who will face Dragon Lee in the quarterfinals? We find out right here, right now! <laughs> the following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Dayton, Ohio. Weighing in at 207 pounds. Zachary Wentz, a former TNA X Division champion as well as TNA Tag Team Champion. And somebody who knows Wes Lee extremely well, Wentz Lee and one Trey Miguel, known as the Rascals for several years across the independent scene as well as in TNA Wrestling. Well, Zachary Wentz, one of these several TNA representatives, along with Frankie Kazarian and Jonathan Gresham in the Cruiserweight Classic over the next several weeks. Wentz looking to start TNA out hot as he goes one-on-one -on -one with SmackDown's Nathan Frazier. And, you know, we briefly touched on it earlier tonight. Nathan Frazier last year was representing NXT in, in this tournament. Of course, came up short in the semifinals, but inevitably had such an amazing performance, went on to sign with Friday Night SmackDown. Nathan Fraser not looking to come up short this year, looking to represent the blue brand with flying colors, head all the way to the finals, and make his mark as the winner of the 2024 Cruiserweight Classic. But can he kick things off on the right foot against Zachary Wentz? And his opponent from Jersey in the Channel Island. Well, Nathan Frazier hot off the heels with a victory over Chad Gable just a few weeks ago on SmackDown in Montreal. Chad Gable looks to bounce back in a few weeks' time as he takes on Jonathan Gresham in the first round of the CWC. On the opposing side of that, Nathan Frazier looks to keep his momentum sky high. Certainly a big win to start off his trajectory on the CWC on the right foot, but tonight is where it matters most. It's first round action representing SmackDown against TNA's Zachary Wentz. Well, you saw the bracket and we saw what happened moments ago. It is Dragon Lee who awaits the winner of this contest in the quarterfinals. Bell has sounded, here we go, Wentz and Frazier. Closing us out here on this Sunday afternoon in Midtown Manhattan. Nathan Fraser hot out of the gate, taking Wentz off his feet. Coincidentally enough, it is Nathan Fraser wearing the black and blue of Friday Night SmackDown and Zachary Wentz wearing the red and yellow of TNA Wrestling. Maybe a little brand supremacy hanging between these two superstars tonight. Nonetheless, it is about more than just what show you are representing. The CWC of the utmost highest importance for all 16 athletes who are heading to Midtown Manhattan over the next few weeks. Fraser looking sharp in the early going. Just because you are starting out this match hot does not, you, not mean you'll be able to close. We saw what happened to Cruz del Toro a few moments ago. Nathan Fraser, however, looking to write a different story. Wentz on the outside, Tope Suicida, out comes Fraser Hot. Well, regardless of what happened to Del Toro in the first round matchup, just getting caught by Dragon Lee, Nathan Fraser's got his own blueprint, and so far he is executing it to perfection off the missile drop kick. First cover of the matchup, slides in, referee Chad Patton looking to call this one. Zachary Wentz, however, still in this matchup. Wentz is going to have to try to survive the early fury from Nathan Fraser as he has come out explosive. But Zachary Wentz in his offense said to be out of this world, a former champion in TNA wrestling for a reason. It's not too long ago, Wentz was the X Division champion over there. And looking to prove why he is championship worthy here. The hell does he got in mind? Forget coast to coast, he's traveling from galaxy to galaxy. Out of this world is Zachary Wentz. What a freaking maneuver on Nathan Frazier. These two gentlemen holding nothing back on this Sunday afternoon in Hammerstein. And Acai Moon salt by Wentz into the cover. May have stunned Frazier in the early going. Nathan showing it's going to take a lot more to keep him down. Nathan Frazier knocked Wesley out of the first round last year. Coincidentally enough, as he meets Zachary Wentz this year. 
now looking to make his way to the finals and write a different story in 2024, but it is Zachary Wentz who is looking to be his kryptonite all over again. Frazier sent to the top. The hell does Wentz have in mind? Whatever it is, Nathan Frazier obviously trying to avoid it. Does not want to see disaster. These two men holding no punches in the early going, jockeying for position in a very uncarious position on the ropes. Oh, wait a minute. Poison Rana off the ropes. And just as it seems it'll be for the next eight weeks, Manhattan, New York are on their feet. Zachary Wentz all over the place, matching Nathan Frazier's energy. Thought Frazier came out like a spark plug, explosive as all hell. Zachary Wentz trying to one-up him. And there's a nice sidestep by Frazier, realizing off that poison Rana that Wentz nearly closed this matchup in a jiffy. Down he goes. And scurries up into the pinfall. Commending Nathan Frazier to try to get that three count, but if this opening few moments has shown us anything, it is going to take a lot for these two superstars to keep each other down. Once again, it is Wentz looking to take flight, or instead, just takes off with some fire underneath his feet. Combination strikes, and again, Nathan Frazier is still in this matchup. Fraser once again with a sidestep. They don't call it high risk, high reward for nothing. What a combination there. Anything you can do, I can do better. Wentz with the combination strikes. Nathan Fraser with the swing blade and right into the shooting star. No hesitation to attack. And really that's the mentality that every man in this tournament needs to have. Oh, Frankensteiner off the top. This is one of those contests where the action simply speaks for itself. Wentz once again take it off his feet. Roll to the outside trying to create some distance. I'll tell you, these two men came in with a blueprint, but I think the explosiveness of one another has just got each other thinking on their feet. Trying to throw any high risk maneuver to keep the other down, or maybe a simple insiguri will be enough for a KO punch. Wentz sent back inside the ring, and ever since that Frankensteiner off the top with a springboard on it, Wentz has been dazed. But there you go, he closes the gap that time. Man, already in this contest, these two men have expended their energy. At some point, you're gonna have to tap into the reserves. Save some for the back half. Hold on now. Zachary Wentz. Canadian Destroyer! Off the middle rope, Wentz has got to be seeing stars. Or I shall say Frazier, as he's the one looking up at the lights. Wentz is now on top going for a swanton bomb. Nobody home on the delivery. Wentz trying to let adrenaline fuel him here, fight through the pain. There's another sidestep by Frazier. Both these guys doing anything they got to do to keep each other down and wiped out momentarily. What a contest in the first round of the CWC as once again Wentz takes it to the air with the Acai Moonsault. Has got to realize that Nathan Fraser has read that playbook already. Into the schoolboy trying to steal the victory but referee Chad Patton just a little out of position. Pendulum of momentum swinging back and forth the last few moments or so. Nathan Fraser once again creating some separation. Oh, hold on here. Wentz might have got caught. He got caught definitely. Suplex to the outside. All this high flying action, and it's a suplex that might have finally neutralized TNA Zachary Wentz. Frazier now just trying to do anything he can to keep Wentz off the soles of his boots. A possible lifeless body sent back inside the ring. Nathan Frazier now scaling the ropes. Now somehow Wentz getting to his feet, and once again, Frazier, oh, Wentz. 
I don't know who got the worst of that. I think Nathan Frazier might have dodged Lynch knocking him off. Either way, it's Frazier who's getting dumped on his crown. Just when you think one of these participants are down and out, they rise like a phoenix. This just goes to show you what this Cruiserweight Classic Tournament means to everybody participating in it. They saw what the tournament did for Ilya Dragunov's career last year. Got him championship opportunities. Has positioned him as one of the top stars on Friday nights. Wimps off the top. Looking to represent TNA with flying colors. And Frazier once again kicking out, and you see desperation on the face of Zachary Wentz. Had to believe that was it. Wentz once again going for the Acai Moonsault, and it delivers. Frazier's dead center of the ring, or at least he was, a prime target. All of a sudden, Frazier's got daylight. Back and forth, these two men are swinging here in Midtown. Wentz now sent to the corner. Fraser hoists him on the ropes. Somehow has the strength to do so this late in the matchup. The hell is he looking for now? Both bodies going to spinning. Hustles up into the pinfall. Nathan Frazier unable to put Zachary Wentz away, but you gotta commend the efforts of both of these gentlemen. Wentz squashed in the corner. These two men throwing everything in the kitchen sink at each other. Wentz once again is down. Frazier off the ropes, nobody home. These two men matching each other's energy tonight, willing to feel the pain and the agony of this contest on Monday morning. Wentz is dropped. Both of these individuals looking to punch their ticket to the quarterfinals in just a few weeks' time, where they will meet NXT's Dragon Lee. Wentz once again set to the opposing corner. Whatever Nathan Frazier's got in mind, it's gonna be on hold as Wentz with the reversal that time, and now it's him utilizing the middle buckle off the tornado. Frazier on the outside, needing the ropes just to get to his souls. Off the springboard again, and Wentz eats a pair of boots. Incredible contest here, as now Nathan Frazier once again seems to have something in mind. Wentz set it outside, and again off the reversal. You see the body starting to slow down a bit. At this late in the match, fatigue is finally starting to set in, and they're saving their energy for when they need it most, for when they need to be explosive. Tap into those reserves when it matters. Wentz hoisted on top once more. Nathan Frazier, there you go, tapping into those reserves. German suplex that just sent Zachary Wentz from pillar to post. Going for a Phoenix Splash, but he crashed and burned. Mama mia, Nathan Frazier might have just cost himself. Wentz now. Somehow, back on top. Going for a swan time bomb, but it misses for the second time. These two men did their homework, and so far they're racing the test, and there has not been a three count on either side of the ring. Zachary Wentz looking up at the lights momentarily. Nathan Frazier with a swan time bomb of his own. What did we say earlier? Anything you can do, I can do better. Unfortunately, the shock on Fraser's face says it all. What is it gonna take? These two men leaving everything they got on that canvas tonight. Wentz just throwing a couple Hail Marys, trying to find a way to knock Zach Zachary Wentz's lights out, and that super kick might have done it. Both of these men exhausted from this physical battle. But it's Frazier to his feet first, and that may give him an open opportunity. Frazier feeling froggy. Frog splash delivered. 
And after an exhilarating contest, Nathan Frazier and his never slow down mentality ends up the victor. An incredible performance from bell to bell by both of these gentlemen. And you gotta give your hat off to the former TNA X Division champion and Zachary Wentz, showing why his name was worthy to, to participate among the 16 at the Cruiserweight Classic Tournament this year. Nathan Frazier, however, the man who just had a little bit more left in the tank. And as Zachary Wentz's name fades to black, Nathan Frazier will move on to meet Dragon Lee in the quarterfinals. Well, we look forward to next Sunday afternoon, right back here at Midtown, where Akira Tozawa from SmackDown takes on NXT's Javon Evans. And then two more SmackDown stars will take center stage as the ever-exciting Axiom takes on Wesley, who is looking to not have a first-round knockout just as he did 12 months ago. Nathan Frazier capping off an incredible opening day for the 2024 Cruiserweight Classic Tournament. We thank you for joining us live here in Hammerstein Ballroom in Manhattan, New York. Be sure to hit the join button down below, become a No Nation Gaming channel member, and don't miss out on any of this exciting action.